Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, That Reseller Guy. We're back on Monday with another video. Today I'm going to talk about a couple of different topics. Of course, I'm going to show you some of the items that sold over the weekend. Sales still really aren't back to normal. They were, weren't terrible. They weren't great. But we're also going to talk about selling some big items. So let's get going. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the sales first, get them out of the way. Like I said, I sold 10 items on eBay. It actually did sell one item on Amazon over the weekend too. So, you know, we have a little Amazon trickle in. Again, I'm not doing a whole lot of Amazon anymore, but just putting some stuff over there when it seems to get a little bit more than eBay does. Uh, that item happened to be a little Lego set. Little, uh, I guess, a Easter themed one maybe. We got, a, we got a carrot and a bunny, so we're gonna call that Easter themed. We got that coming up not too far away. This one sold for 20 bucks. It's not a real expensive set or anything, so. 20 bucks plus shipping on that set. We'll get that one out. That one is going to, uh, where's that going to? Virginia. I think I got a lot of stuff going back east today. And uh, that's going to cause some problems or at least shipping cost problems for a couple of these items. Because uh, now we'll get into eBay. 10 items, 450 bucks. That shipping, tax, items all included in that $450 total. So average price sale was pretty good because I had two big dollar sales and a bunch of, you know, kind of smaller ones. So the big one, and why I said that uh, shipping costs are going to be high is because I sold the football helmet. This one is actually a pretty good one. Look inside. Look how fancy that is in there. Some big fancy padding helmet. This is a shut helmet. S-E-H-U-T-T. -T. Uh, this one sold for $100. bucks. 99 99 plus shipping on this bad boy. No chin strap. I tell you, a lot of times I take the chin straps off because they're kind of gross. A lot of the times, make sure you take off that mouthpiece if you're selling these. Even if they don't have the ear pads, I still sell these things. Last week alone, I sold five football helmets. They were all cheaper ones. They're all like $35 and $40 helmets, but I still sold five of those. So pretty good. Like selling these ones. I love when I find these $100 helmets and it is going back to New York. It's going to the Bronx. So it's going from Arizona all the way across country. You can't get much further than that. Uh, so shipping is going to be, and this is a pretty, pretty heavy helmet as well. So uh, I charge $15 for shipping. I just factor that into my price. The majority of the time, it's thirteen ninety seven. Uh, almost anywhere I go in the middle of the country, if I go to like the Southwest, it costs me like eleven dollars. But when I go back to New York, it costs me a couple extra dollars. It all evens out in the end. But still, hundred dollars for this football helmet. I hope some of you have started looking for help football helmets when you're out at the stores. I know Lonnie. If you watch Lonnie over at Shed Flips, he's been selling a lot of football helmets. He just picked up a really good one the other day. So uh, yeah, start selling football helmets. Oh, let's see. Let's just get into the next good item. Why not get all the good items out of the way? Had a big win by Duke uh, over the weekend. They beat North Carolina, swept the season series from North Carolina, which doesn't happen too often. Neither team are great this year, but still, we have this Coach K. He's no longer the coach there anymore. Coach K autograph photo. It is signed down on the bottom right there. Mike Shevsky. And it is certified by JSA. We got a little JSA sticker down at the bottom. The picture did have a little wrinkle on it, like up here on the corner, and I think like a little one down here at the bottom. One twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, coach, coach stuff goes goes really well. One twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Now, the problem with this is it's just a little bit bigger than eight by ten, so I don't have a rigid holder that it fits in great. So, so now you're asking, how am I gonna ship that photo? So I got this photo and the little card that goes with it. So since I don't have one of those rigid holders to protect it well, I'm gonna ship it just like it's a comic book. So I'm gonna put it inside one of these little comic book bags. Start with that. And then we got a comic book board. So we'll throw that in there. If I can do that quickly, throw the little JSA card in the back as well. And I'm not going to do all of it right now, but I'm going to fold that over, tape it down so it can't uh, escape. And then I got some of these rigid photo mailers. I'll put it in here. Now, it's still a little bit bendy when I put it in there. So I'm going to put another piece of cardboard in there that's a little bit stiffer. I'll cut up a box, put that in there, make the package a little bit more secure, put a little don't bend sticker on it. Hopefully the post office pays attention and we'll ship it out that way. So yeah, if you're shipping out photos, you definitely want to protect it, especially one that's 130 bucks. I don't want this thing to get bent in the mail and messed up and all that stuff. So uh, that's how I ship those out. All right, let's just keep going. We'll keep going for, for these, the higher dollar ones. We'll get to the low price ones and we'll just kind of blow through those a little quick, a little quickly. I don't know if that's a, that's a good grammar. Uh, next item, sold another football game. Yeah, NCAA football 13. Last week or the week before that, I found NCAA 14 for the first time ever. And uh, the other day I found 13 for the first time ever. Uh, they just brought out a cart of games. I saw a bunch of the, these green sides on the cart, and I knew they had a bunch of video games. And he said, oh, it's just a bunch of junky sports ones. But this one was in there. Surprisingly, 
This one still has good value. We got RG3 and Barry Sanders on the cover of this. Sold for $40. $39.99 plus shipping. Opened it up. Bam. It was complete inside. So I made it even better. $40. Yeah, I, I've been flipping. I'm a, am I a video game flipper now? I wish I could find more. Uh, but yeah, in the last couple of weeks, I've sold a couple good Xbox 360 uh, NCAA football games. $40 if I didn't say that already. Next. Ooh, let's see. We're going. Let's go back here. Found a couple of these the other day for a bucket piece at a thrift store. Just these uh, mouthpieces, mouth guards, it says on there. I always call them a mouthpiece. I never call them a mouth guard. Made by Venom. I think these are used by like boxers and MMA guys. Uh, $20 free shipping for the pair of those. It'll, I'm just going to put these into a poly bag, ship them out. Uh, I think it's going to weigh like 8 or 10 ounces. So that's going to be pretty cheap. I, I really like this next item. This one's pretty cool. At least I think it is. I love finding stuff like this. So this is, what is it? 46th Fighter Interceptor Squadron. we got like the, what is that? Like a Black Panther or something on the front? I can't tell what that thing is. Uh, and it does have uh, Dover Air Force Base down on the bottom. And it had, I think, Lynn, like maybe someone's last name. Uh, whenever I see mugs and I see like these gold rims down at the bottom or on the top, uh, you know that they're generally going to be a little bit older. And I'm looking for cool stuff like this. Uh, this is an older military Air Force uh, mug from that fighter squadron. Kind of cool. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Pick it up for just a couple dollars. I don't want to sell mugs unless they're at least that much or more. Because they're kind of a little pain to ship. They got to go up priority because you got to protect them. Put them in a box. It's going to secure it and uh, get it shipped. Luckily, it's only going to Texas. So it's not going too far. And uh, we'll get that packed up and shipped over to them. I actually think it's going overseas. It looked like it might be going to like a... One of those little shipping stations that then sends stuff overseas. Next up, Kirby Pucket. Someone bought two of these posters. I have like a quantity discount on there. Pretty good quantity discount because I had a ton of these Starline posters. And somebody bought two of these. And I think it ends up being, uh, I don't know. I think the, the pop-up shows like 15 bucks, but they got like a $3 discount. So about 6 bucks a piece plus shipping on those two. I have pennies into these and it's just free money anytime I sell any of those at this point. Next. All right. Uh, the other day I went through all my non-sport sets that I had, cleaned them up, got figured out the exact quantities and found out that a bunch of them weren't listed. So now they're selling now that I have them listed. It's kind of weird how they weren't selling when they weren't listed. Now they're listed. So they are selling at least something selling. And you can see right here, one, two, three different elf sets. Elf. Yeah. Alien life form in case you didn't know that's what it stood for. So this has uh, two different sets. So we got Elf Series 1 and we got Elf Series 2. But what I don't like is on these on the cover card, it says that it has stickers with it. I don't include the stickers with these. I didn't get them when I purchased them, so it's just the base set. I spell that all out in the description and say no stickers and all that. It's a cheap set anyways. It's $10. bucks. you are getting $10 for these two sets. And uh, I sold three of them. So $30 for those sets. I paid a buck and a half for each of those sets. So profit... Percentage wise, it's really good. Just it's, you know, after fees and everything, I'm probably making what, five or six bucks, not not too much per set. This set's a little bit better. Paid the same price, paid a buck and a half for this. This is the Black Hole 1970 something card set, but this one does have the little sticker insert set. So you got the complete set of those. Uh, do, you, do any of you remember that movie? I remember seeing it as a kid and I loved it, uh, but I probably, if I were to watch it now, it's probably pretty terrible. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever seen the Black Hole. And uh, there was one there was one character that I'm going to call him. He was sort of like a trash can. It was sort of like R2-D2. It was that character. Of course, I loved that character as, as a kid watching that movie. This set sold. I think a pop-up shows 20 bucks, but I gave a 10% discount. So it sold for $17.99 plus shipping. So I'm making better money on this set uh, than probably all three of those sets combined. Or I don't know, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere close. When I ship these out, I have these little 5 by 3 by 2 boxes. These sets fit beautifully into those. Uh, I think I might have a link down below for those if you ship out card sets or any smalls that go into little boxes. Those boxes work great. But like I said, sales are still kind of slow. I feel like I'm fighting for every little sale coming. I only sold 10 items over three days. So that's a pretty slow weekend. But lately, that's kind of where I've been. 9, 10, 11 sales over the weekend. So I don't know if eBay is still a little funky. If I'm not doing a good enough job getting new inventory out there. But uh, either way, I need sales to pick up stats. Now, the title of this video was, I don't know, I can't remember. I don't, probably haven't really even made the title yet, but it's selling big stuff, uh, whether it's on eBay or otherwise. And a lot of times I tend to shy away from bigger items because I definitely don't want to ship bigger items. I don't want to store bigger items. Taking photographs of bigger items, more work. But if the profit number's there, I'm more than willing to do it. So I got a couple items back behind me I want to show you that I thought were pretty cool.
All right, I gotta get back here. I'm in my socks. All right, this is one of them here. We got this. We got the turtle play stove. Can you see it? Maybe, maybe I should sit down so we can get on here. Yeah, look, this is made by Zoodle Land. I've never seen a, seen these before. I've never heard of Zoodle Land, but I saw this at the thrift store. This box caught my attention. You can tell the vintageness of this item just by the box, the girl on the side. Look at that little outfit she's wearing there. We got a couple kids on the back playing with it. So I opened it up. This is the stove and this thing I think was pretty much complete. It did come with like a little towel. The towel wasn't in there, but it had all the other accessories. Pretty cool. I looked it up on eBay. There's not a lot of the Zoodaland stuff out there. I think there was one or two of these currently listed and a couple that have sold over uh, the last 90 days and a few that have sold over there the last couple of years when you look at Ontario Peak. So it was only five bucks, five dollars for this at the thrift store at the local DI, the Desert Industry Store. They priced their stuff pretty cheap. So I was excited to find this. And let me tell you, let me go into another little story about that. So I went to that store probably an hour after opening. And if you ever go to any of these DI stores, especially out here in Arizona, there is probably between 10 and 30 people waiting to get inside the store every day when they open. And these are all regular resellers and they're all go through the store pretty quickly in the first five minutes and snatch up anything that's pretty good. But these, like I said, I went there an hour later and these were still on the shelf. Maybe because it was a bigger box, nobody wanted to deal with it. But I did for five bucks. I listed this one for a hundred bucks. You see it on the screen. I listed this one for a hundred dollars and I think I'll get that. Uh, there are sales over a hundred dollars for these. Having the original box I think is, is huge on these. If it didn't have the box, I may not have bought it because it probably goes for 40, maybe $50 tops without the box. But with the box, $100, that one's a big win. But wait, there's more, there's another one. Let's get this one on the screen too. We got, oh, I gotta get my chair. We got the penguin, we got the penguin refrigerator. Yeah, look, we got, I don't know, is that the same girl with her, the same kids playing with these things? I think that, I think it is, but yeah, same thing. Zoodle Land Penguin Play Refrigerator. Now this one did not have all the parts. Let me show you, see, so it opens up and inside the door, it did have these eggs, but it didn't have these little different bottles like the, I don't know, what's that, ketchup and milk and other things that are supposed to go in that little section. But otherwise, it was pretty cool. This one, actually, I kind of liked it too. Had the original Toys R Us price tag up on the top. 1970s, these things are old. Uh, so this one, even though it was still missing those parts, there are none of this available on eBay right now. So. I threw mine out there, same price, 100 bucks, 100 bucks plus shipping for this. It's not real heavy. It's just that it's gonna be in a big box. So the box is probably gonna weigh like five pounds once it's all once it's all packed and everything. So yeah, $100 each for these. Would you have picked these up for five bucks each? Would you have sold these? Now, I originally thought when I bought these that maybe I would just take them to my collectibles booth, throw like $40 on them and just clear them out that way. But I'm gonna try them on eBay for a while at 100 bucks. And if some reason they don't sell over the next, oh, I'll give them six months. I mean, it really should sell over that time. Somebody is gonna find this and go, oh my God, I had that toy when I was a kid and they're gonna wanna buy it for their kids or their grandkids. So uh, hopefully we'll sell a penguin and a turtle pretty soon. All right, the next couple items I got over on this side. So I'm gonna scoot over here off camera for a second. We're gonna show you this. Now, this wasn't a great buy. These Nico or uh, Nico, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. I'll pronounce it Nico. Uh, these RC boats. So this is the, what is this, the Wave Buster. But inside it does have like the remote in there. It has the battery for it down here. Uh, it was marked $14.49. I used my coupon. I get it for about $11.50 after that discount. Uh, this I'm not going to put on eBay. If you look if you look at the solds out on eBay, they're anywhere from 20 some dollars to about 50 bucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this I'm gonna put it in my collectibles booth. I think that's the way to go. And along with that one, I got a second one. Yeah, this one is like a police rescue boat. So you can see that one there. So yeah, one, two of these, I'm gonna take them to my booth. I'm gonna to try to move them pretty quickly there. I'm gonna throw them for like 35 bucks in my booth. They're gonna take 15% basically. And uh, I'll basically a little bit over double my money. So this one, not nearly as good of a purchase, but I just thought these things were too cool to pass up. And I think I showed you this one the other day, but I'm gonna show it again. I got this really cool globe in the globe stand. You see right here, right here, the globe. You can go and spin the globe right here, go wherever you want. And uh, this was pretty cool. This globe alone is pretty, pretty nice. I think this globe sells for like 20, 30 bucks by itself. And the stand, the stand is actually pretty expensive. Uh, the name brand's down here on the bottom. I'll flip it around. I'll try to figure it out. 
I can't read without my glasses, so I can't tell you what the brand is. Either way, I am taking this to my booth as well. I don't, don't want to ship something this big. I think I mentioned that I'm going to throw it in there for like 70 bucks or something. We'll, we'll try. We're going to shoot for a high price out there. A worst case, I'm hoping to get at least 50 for that. Again, it was the same price as those boats, $14.49. Use that coupon, get it for $11.50. So let me know which one of those items, which one of those big items were your favorite? Did you like those toys? I, those were definitely not. For some reason, toys are just so nostalgic to me. And even though I didn't play with those type of toys when I was a kid, just seeing them, I, I get some sort of enjoyment just out of just opening the box and taking the pictures and just checking out those cool items like that. Uh, the Wave Runners, you'd think that I would like those more, but I was really never into RC cars and boats and those type of things. But I'll still make a little bit of money on those. And that globe, actually, I think that globe, it's pretty darn cool. All right, that's it for today. Let me go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, what else do I got coming up this week? Actually, on Thursday, this video is going to be my top 20 sales from 2022. I'm way behind getting that video out. I do this every year. I talk about the top sales that I had for the year and uh, kind, of, kind of reminisce about some of the cool finds, the expensive finds, the nice stuff that I found during the year, whether it be out at thrift stores, auctions, or wherever I picked it up. So that will be coming out on Thursday. Go over to that card guy. Check out that channel. I got, I got to get a video out on that one this week as well. It's been a little overdue. Trying to get that one up over a thousand. And I'd like you to help me out with that too. So thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.